Good morning, everyone. Stephen Lee here. Uh, today, President Biden will be making some announcements in regards to changes to the PPP program to ensure equity. In this video, I'll be covering the changes to the PPP program. Um, definitely leave a link in the information section below from the source of this information on what I'm presenting to you. All right, so starting this Wednesday, February 24th at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the SBA will establish a 14-day exclusive window or period for PPP loan applications for businesses and non-for-profits with fewer than 20 employees. That 14-day window is set to expire on March 10th, okay? So starting this Wednesday, February 24th at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, there's gonna be an exclusive 14-day window for small businesses and non-for-profits with fewer than 20 employees. Um, one of the goals that Congress had for this latest round of PPP funding was to reach small and low and moderate income businesses who have not yet received relief or forgivable PPP loans just yet. Uh, the reason for this 14-day window is to ensure that these um, targeted businesses, uh, low and moderate income businesses, uh, will receive the uh, resources and attention from the lenders. So that's why they're really setting out this next two weeks, uh, starting from this Wednesday, that 14-day window, to really target these low to moderate income businesses with fewer than 20 employees. There are also four additional critical changes to the PPP program in this round. The first one is they're going to allow sole proprietors, independent contractors, and self-employed individuals to receive more financial support by revising the PPP's funding formula for these categories of applicants. Okay, so once again, if you're a sole proprietor, independent contractor, and a self-employed individual, and typically this is going to be a Schedule C, right? Schedule C filers. Um, this next set of rounds or changes were, is going to change the funding formula. You remember how it's either going to be 2.5 or 3.5, depending on 3.5 is if you're a restaurant or hospitality, but 2.5 is typically the payroll uh, multiplier. Um, I'm assuming that this is going to change. Once details are released, I'll definitely upload a video so you don't want to forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. The second change is eliminate an exclusionary restriction on PPP access for small business owners with prior non-fraud felony convictions. You remember during the PPP application process, there's a whole list of confirmation and questions that you have to fill out as an applicant to see basically what your, um, whether it's a criminal history or any type of convictions or any type of lawsuits pending. So they're also gonna ease the restrictions for any small business owners with prior non-fraudulent felony convictions. The third big change here is eliminating PPP access restrictions on small business owners who have struggled to make a student loan payment by eliminating a student loan debt delinquency as a disqualifier to participating in the PPP program. So if you are a small business owner or a business owner who had um, student loan uh, repayment delinquencies or student loan debt delinquencies, they're gonna eliminate this as a disqualifier for, be, uh, el for being eligible for a PPP loan. And the fourth change here is to ensure access for non-citizen small business owners who are lawful U.S. residents that they may use their ITIN number. The ITIN number is different than the social security number. It stands for Individual Taxpayer Identification Number. And those business owners can also now apply for a PBP loan in this round. Okay, so I'll continue to update you as more and more updates are available. Uh, later on today or early tomorrow, more details will come out. You definitely wanna to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications as when those notifications or those updates do come up, I'll definitely load another video. Until then, I wish you a wonderful day.